is it is it Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. Did I say Saturday? No, you said Sunday. It's my bad. I thought I thought it was Saturday. <laughs> Good thing I didn't promote it yet. Sorry. <laughs> I know. Well, you've, you've officially met us. Could have been luck, but maybe I ain't doing it now. Hey guys, we are here with Ivan and Connor of Brass Tracks. Let's take it back a bit. How did you guys start making music together? We met at Manhattan School of Music. We were rather rebellious of our curriculum and wanted to do other kinds of music. So we started uh, an experimental side project called Brass Tracks that kind of snowballed into a thing uh, that we didn't expect. It's weird because you know it's your music, but how would you guys describe your sound? Soulful brass driven r b with a smile with a smile i love it i like that so let's talk about golden ticket how did it feel to launch a project in the middle of a pandemic yeah it was weird it was a little weird but um people need music you know it, it, i think it's helping a lot of us through these times so Initially, it was weird, but you know, we we were excited to get get music out there for people. You know, you met in school, you got to the Grammys together, you've launched different projects. What are some of the best lessons you guys have learned over the years? Always back up with your hard drive. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I I do. For, first of all, everything you're doing is for your fans and uh, also like for your own psyche. There's been periods of our career where we were trying to chase a certain something and not stopping and appreciating everything that we had already had. We've always had like an amazing cheer, like super serious cheerleader fan base. You know, these people are the Brass Tracks diehard fans. Are, they're, they're people with the same tattoo that I got when I was 18 years old now. Like I couldn't, I, I drew that in, at my parents' dining table, you know, like I couldn't imagine that happen, happening now. So lesson I've learned is that like it, your career is because of your fans and what you do should be for them and also to make sure that you are good that, that you are happy and then everything else is nice and you guys have your first live stream concert this Sunday at the house of yes how does it feel to finally be doing this we never expected that we'd be doing this ever so it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be really it's gonna be crazy i can't give away much more besides it's gonna be crazy and i think there are a lot of perks of you know doing a live stream virtual experience like people from all over the world can tune yeah. in and watch a show and be part of this experience together which is amazing yeah i mean mm -hmm. we've never gone down this path before but that's the, I think the thing that we are most excited for that concept that you know there is no capacity on this venue well we're looking forward to it thanks so much for chatting with us guys yeah thanks for yeah.